Bruno Mars is performing at Aloha Stadium as we speak. After an opening act, he finally took the stage at 9.15 to a packed house of screaming fans. There was traffic, but many say that and waiting in line was worth it. This is how it looked as fans slowly made their way into the stadium. A sea of people. It'll look that crowded, maybe even worse when it ends because everybody leaves at once. An estimated 36,000 people again all at the same time exiting Aloha Stadium. And good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. For now, all those fans are enjoying the music and the homecoming of local boy Bruno Mars. Bridget Namata has been at the stadium all day long, and it's there now, listening in, enjoying from the outside, albeit, but still exciting, right, Bridge? exciting. I'm, it's taking every uh, fiber in me to not dance right now, Dash, Marissa. Now, the concert did start a little late. Instead of 7 o'clock with Charlie Wilson, the opening act, it started at 7.30. So as Marissa had mentioned, Bruno took the stage around 9.15 to loud, thunderous applause. The loudest applause I have heard here at Aloha Stadium thus far these last few years. And right now, he's playing Marry You. Excitement was thick in the air at Aloha Stadium tonight for the first of Bruno Mars's three homecoming concerts. Traffic was heavy, but surprisingly, the stadium parking lot, which holds 6,000 vehicles, was not filled. Many concert goers chose to take the shuttle, park at alternate parking sites, or hop in a taxi, Uber, or Lyft. Well, we ended up parking at Leeward Community College, and they offered uh, buses for people that don't want to get trapped in the parking situation. So we just ended up parking there, jumping on the bus from Milani, and yeah, we came. It was nice and smooth. Everybody, nice flowing line, so it's perfect. The longest lines, it seemed, was getting into the stadium. Lines snaked into the parking lot, and it took hours for everyone to finally get past the turnstile. But for Bruno, concert goers say it's worth it. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go here uh, three times. So I'm in the nosebleeds, and I'm going to go to the middle level. Then I'm going to be on the field on the last day. It's my last time in Hawaii, so um, I'm going to move to Vegas. Yeah, with my wife, and I want to see Bruno over here. You can't top this woman's story, though. I have two tickets from Bruno Mars personally. Okay, so you're telling me that Bruno gave you those tickets. Yes, he did. This Kailua woman claims she spotted Bruno at the Whole Foods in Kailua Tuesday night. So, anyway, long story short, I ch called him out. I said, hey, Bruno, and he goes, <laughs> it was so cute. But I was so, and he said, um, I said, he said, well, are you going to come see the show? And I said, well, I don't have any tickets. And he says, well, you do now. I am so, I love you, Bruno Mars. I love him. I love him. I love that. That was a great interview. And Bridget, you know, for folks going to Saturday and Sunday's concerts, um, how strict was the security? Oh, Marissa, it was pretty strict. In fact, when we came in with our car to park in the stadium parking lot, every car received um, a sheet of paper and it listed all those rules and they're pretty strict about it. They say that you cannot bring a bag that's bigger than 12 inches by six inches uh, by 12. Um, you cannot have drones. You cannot have professional cameras. Um, they say you can bring a jacket, um, but there's a lot of police officers here as well. And actually a lot of concert goers tell me it took, as you in the saw in my story, you saw that the lines were wrapping around the parking lot just to get in. Well, there's another set of security once you're inside to get to your seats. And according to some concert goers, they tell me it took them another hour, 40 minutes to an hour, just to get to their seats, just to clear past security. Lots of loud cheering there. Thank you so much, Bridget. Well, Aloha Stadium is asking for your help to make the lines like these go faster. That means following the rules like the stadium's bag policy. So if your bag is too big, you won't be allowed in. Remember, they may search your bags or use a metal detector. You can't bring an umbrella, but you can bring a poncho or jacket. You can also bring a sign as long as you can roll it up. And many of the vendors at the stadium only accept cash. For a link to all of the stadium's rules, go to our website, khon2.com. Okay, now to the first people in line in their cars. Believe it or not, they were there at 12.30 this afternoon, some three hours before the parking lot even opened. And security, that, it was tight. You can see there, there's a bomb squad, 
sniffing dogs. Even event workers and caterer, caterers had to go through security checks and metal detectors. It is really high security, really high security in wake of, you know, a lot of different events on the mainland, but um, I'm, I feel very safe. Come early, come prepared, and just bring your patience. Bring your patience and remember what you're coming here for. And even though thousands showed up tonight, we're told there was still a lot of parking inside the stadium again. And if you don't want to chance it, there are, again, 10 alternate parking sites if you're going Saturday or Sunday. And there's many that provide shuttles, too. Some of the sites are IA Elementary, Leeward Community College, Moanalua High, Pearl Ridge, Radford High, and Stadium Marketplace. That's the area right by the stadium where Kmart used to be. And aside from the concerts, there are no public appearances for Bruno, but... He did send a message to all of his fans earlier today. This, look, an old picture of himself posted on Instagram when he was a little kid, asking everyone to drive with Aloha. He also said, quote, I've missed you all, and I can't wait to perform and sing on the island I call home.